when last we left our brave adventurers, they had infiltrated the mansion of Madame Aurania Seltradot. After killing her daughters on her front stoop, um, Bosric Cobb availed himself very well by challenging the eldest of the two remaining sisters to a single a duel of single combat. As she fought, she seemed more and more like she wanted to die, and at the end of her life, she thanked Bosric. Her younger sister, however, did not take that as a kindness and attacked Bosric and the party right out and was reduced to shattered porcelain. Zier attempted to infiltrate and find the young girl who had been taken, but ran into the big lady herself and was scruffed out like a tidy puppy. Their warlock, Mazura, was unfortunately lost to something, though we're not exactly sure what. And a new fighter named Galnus joined the party to fight Lady Seltradot. They were able to defeat her, but as she lay broken on the ground, a crystal chrysalis wrapped around her, and it has begun to crack. Now, if you tuned in last session, you will have seen what was in the chrysalis. That was because that is how I wanted to end the sting. However, the party has two rounds to run if they want, in initiative order. So, Bosric, you have unfortunately died, but you are back. <laughs> your initiative, if you don't mind, is I will need you to roll a new initiative for me. Make sure you click on your token so that we can add it to the list. And I am going to start some music that is definitely not going to be nerve-wracking at all. It'll be fine. Just go with it. Uh, it's not letting me click on myself, so... Uh, does anybody else hear this music is not a friendly music? Yeah. If I had to describe it, nerve-wracking is probably <laughs> the term I would use. Um, okay. Should uh, I drag out a new token? Yeah, drag out a new token. Here, I'll delete this token. I do have to say, I love that Zir is just vibing right now. <laughs> I just imagine that Zir hears this music in her head and is just sitting there vibing while everybody else is like, We gotta run! We gotta run! Zir's just vibing. <laughs> Dan's got, party with my got the light, light sticks out like duga, 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 duga. <laughs> and everyone with the exception of Bosric, please roll me a quick perception check do my best yes sir this is my first time learning the music presumably comes from what roll 20 yes yes I, I realized that I am not hearing it on my end so I have to pull <laughs> up roll 20 be, uh, that's a 17 on perception. nice 22 nice uh, not that. Pays to be the wise guy. Is... That's a nine. A nine? Okay. Um, Queen, you're a little bit too rattled to notice this. Um, yeah. I hope that this is an okay. I have made a slight um, cosmetic choice, but uh, Clovis and Galnus, you look over, well, Galnus, maybe you don't. Uh, you will see maybe a slight difference in the fire that inhabits this person, but Clovis, as you look over to Zir, um, her horns seem to now have vines wrapped around them. <laughs> Looking out from both of my blackened <laughs> eyes, uh, Clovis will take this in and decide this is not the moment to comment on it, but I've I've filed it away. All right. Um, Zier's dear player, I hope you are okay with that being a slight cosmetic choice for Zier. Absolutely. Great. I watched... All right. Well, it... <laughs> go ahead. No, I watched Confusion and then Delight. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great... Um, at the top of the lineup is Galnus, who has just given the order to run. Galnus, you have not seen Seltradot do this before. You have, you knew that Seltradot's powers, you didn't know about this. So you can make the decision what you want to do next. Just uh, looking at this thing coming out, uh, is, it, is she trapped on the ground or what? Give me the, the, the play. Um, what, what you I... see right now is basically just a big hunk of crystal. You don't actually see what's in it. Uh, uh yeah, uh, kids, we, 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 we should go. Um, that's not good. 
Uh, and I'm just gonna start backing up, uh, kind of just holding my shield in front of me, and uh, seeing where Bozrek is. I'll start moving towards him, considering uh, I watched him die, um, and just in a protective uh, stance, like, yeah, we we really need to, we really need to go. Okay. Um, so you use your move action. Do you want to do anything with your action, or would you like to use the dash action to double move? Uh, yeah, no, I'm not attacking the chrysalis. That's a, a bad fucking idea. Um, but why not? I, I honestly, there's people still in front of me. I can't leave them unprotected, so I can't dash. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll okay. take the, uh, I'll take the dodge I mean, action. Well, if you're looking at me, Sounds I'm gonna, good. I'm gonna nod to the door and say, like, just go on. I can. Oh. I can. Because uh, I. Because uh, then if you give me the uh, go, he's gonna sort of walk by and be like. <laughs> Good luck on round two, kid. Yeah. And he's going to head out the door. <laughs> so, Galnus, until you get within 10 feet of him, he is just a roaring flame. But as you get within 10 feet, now you see that he's telling you to move. Yeah. And so, yeah, you can use your dash action if you'd like. I'm a roaring flame? All right. He's blind. Him, I'm blind. Yes. The character is blind. Ah, good point. Um. Okay. Um, the doors you just went through are, uh, were open. These double doors are closed. Uh, Bosric, it is your turn. Come on, you lot! <laughs> and I will... Move out, but... I am gonna kinda take a wait till everyone is accounted for. Before moving further. So I'm going to hold my move action until everyone is already... Or my... my Spend my action to dash. So actually, let me go ahead and properly measure that. Okay, so you're going to have to stop at the door because it is closed and barred. I'll open it. <laughs> okay, so it'll be your action to open it. Oh, okay, then yeah, that'll be my action. Okay. Um, so Bosric uh, runs to the door and he throws open the very heavy wooden piece, but to Bosric it is nothing. He just hefts it off with one hand. Um, all right. Uh, and the door is now open. Clovis, you're up. Um, how's this statue look? Um, is it has it been changing or doing anything uh, as as this fight has gone on? Uh, it's starting to crack. Starting to crack. Okay, um, I think uh, Clovis is gonna look around, uh, see that the uh, the retreat order has started, and uh, to himself just oh, yes, uh, and he's gonna start making his way over, uh, and as he uh, gets next to Queden, I think he's gonna stop, turn around, look up at the statue, uh, look at Queden, and say. I've really grown to hate this place, uh, and I'm going to cast a third level spiritual weapon uh, right next to the statue uh, as Clovis uh, essentially snaps his fingers and, as he has in the past, drops that Stendar pillar directly on the head of the statue. Okay, um, the Stendar pillar comes down and as it hits the statue, you see that as the pillar touches the statue, it starts to crumble away. So the pillar turns into dust on top of the statue. Okay. Can they uh, respond? Does it make an attack before it goes, or does, is it just instant? Uh, no. Uh, basically, you are... I'm going to say you're bookish enough to understand that being that this is a statue made entirely... or running through with Aurum, it probably has a similar anti-magic effect, and the spiritual weapon was just absorbed. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Does being absorbed... Uh, absorbing the spell seem to do anything to the statue? Um, The crack widens a bit. Okay. Um. Good to know. As that happens, can I look back at Clovis and just say, "That's where you and I differ, Clovis. I hated this place from the beginning." Would you uh, like to continue your movement, Clovis? Yes. I would. Okay. Should get me to here. I'm there. Yep. Okay, um, and you do still have your action if you'd like to dash in addition, because the spiritual right, weapon that's is a bonus action. Bonus action. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fucking, of course I'm gonna dash. Uh, we got out of this door, correct? It is open. Ah, uh, yeah, the door is open. Correct. Okay, then I can make it into the door frame. Yeah. Bosric, um, 
Kool-Aid man, Leroy Jenkins, that door. Hell yeah. Um, all right, that will bring us to Zier. What is Zier, current... chosen of the deer. Yeah! <laughs> what is the current state of the reforming corpse? Um, it is currently in a crystal chrysalis that is starting to crack. You can see those, like, hairline fractures moving across the crystal. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's what he just did, was crack the um, Or no, crack the statue. No, he cracked the statue. Statue, okay. Oh, the cracks are the hatching cracks. Yes. Okay. Um... I would like. <laughs> I would like to take an action in which I take a piece of rope and I take two items from my backpack because I have the adventurer's backpack. So I'm gonna take out my crowbar and my hammer. <laughs> uh. Ooh, mm, no, just the crowbar, actually. I'm gonna take the rope, and I'm gonna take the crowbar, and I'm gonna tie it around the egg thing. <laughs> and my goal is that this is going to weigh her down somehow. <laughs> so that's my action. <laughs> Sounds great. Thank you. And then I will uh, double bonus action dash. All right. With my my super fast movement. So I do, I, I step up, I do a little tie, and then I go, I hope this helps. <laughs> it took a minute, but yeah, that's actually brilliant. Can I walk here or is that, is she? Uh, she is currently an immobile Chris, unless you she... can move over her. Oh, fantastic. Okay, great. Mm. I'll just, t I'll just leap on over that. Okay, so I step forward, I tie that on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 55, and then another 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So you're right outside the door at this point. Yes. All right. And I, as I'm running past, I go, I weed her down. <laughs> Good work, Queen. It. I Good run. morning. <laughs> I will. I will remove the crowbar from my okay. <laughs> inventory. <laughs> we'll get it back. Yeah, she's gonna be chasing you with it now. Oh, excellent. We're really Sorry. good at giving our enemies weapons. Oh, great. <laughs> Go ahead, create it. <laughs> I have nothing clever to do. I run. I, okay. I, I bonus. I I dash. Sounds clever. pretty clever to me. Yeah, yeah clever that's, is... that's pretty smart, actually. <laughs> Take it from the person who designed this monstrosity. That is the smartest thing I've seen you do. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait a minute. All right. Uh, my is that twelve squares? That'll one. Two, uh, if you move thirty feet, then yeah. Uh, if you move thirty feet, then yes, it's twelve squares to dash. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's go. I'll actually, I'll be right here. All right. Cool. Um, you guys can hear as you're running out the door, the crash. Um, and you are starting to hear something else. You don't even need to roll perception for this. It sounds like a very high pitched whine that is almost at the edge of your hearing. It's almost past the point where normal hearing could hear it. Um, but Bosric, I'm going to say it is specifically affecting you. Like, it is where the others sort of hear, like, that static, high-pitched, like, tinnitus whine. You are see you are hearing a screech. Um, actually, no, Zier, you hear the screech, too, because you have a point of corruption. Okay. Stunning. <laughs> I love it here, in the corruption land. <laughs> um, so, Bosric and Zier, can you roll me a constitution saving throw, please? Is this I was really excited about level seven getting proficiency and um, wisdom saves. It is a magical keep in, ability. Keep in mind, if you're within ten feet of me, you oh, get the bonus know. to your saves. Yeah. Uh, so Zir, you have a you have a bonus to your save, and you do get advantage for your satyr ability. 
I rolled two sixes. What's my what's my advantage? What is the bonus? <laughs> um, I believe it's plus uh, plus five on saves. Plus five. That's nice. You're okay, welcome. so that would that would bump me up to a thirteen total. About bump me up to a fifteen total. Um, but yeah, but you're, Baz, you're out of range. Team. You're out of range. Oh damn! Well, then a ten. Um. Okay. Um. You are currently both of you. Um. There is not a an existing condition for what is happening to you. Your speed is halved, and you cannot take actions. As you is are overwhelmed good? by an incredibly unsettling sound. Is it? I am going to spend like a work point because screw that noise. Yeah. Is I'll it allow. like a? Is it like a fear? It's not like fear. Like how because would you're it embody? Um. Have you ever had a really bad 22. migraine that makes everything dotty? Yeah. It's that. It's that. You're basically okay. experiencing a migraine. Okay. Excellent. Twenty-two. Uh, Twenty-two. Uh, it you shake it off. <laughs> But you can see that, like, Zir probably has, like, hands on her head, and it is clearly affecting Zir. All right. Uh, top of the lineup, Galnus. You, um... You can see Zir, because Zir is within 10 feet of you, is experiencing some kind of issue. All right. Um... I'm just gonna move uh, up to her. Is it possible to put my arm like kind of around her and start moving her with me instead of a dash, more of a carry, to get her further away? Um. Hmm. I, cer um, I certainly have the strength for it. <laughs> I probably would be a better a better pick for that, just because of my size. I can handle that if you want to. He, well, he he he's unaware of what's going on with you right now. So, well, okay, but if you if you do approve, I would use my reaction. To say I can I can carry her. Um, you you can you can hook an arm under her if you'd like. I will have your speed. Oh well, that's really shit. So if if uh, Bosrix, uh, uh, what's it called? If if he's saying I've I've got her, I've got her. Um, is. The doorway we're in, that's, um, it's pretty, uh, it's, it's, wood, it's a wooden door, right? Uh, yes. All right. Um, so this is a terrible idea. Um, let's see, uh, I'm going to push the door, uh, well, I'm going to move outside of the, uh, let me see, I got to see what I can do here. Mm. Yeah, I'll just run past her at this point. Just go, uh, all right. Okay. Uh, good luck, Les. He's got you. All right. And I assume to the uh, uh, the right is back towards the tavern? Uh, the tavern is directly south. Uh, I know that currently on the screen there is... Uh, downstairs but yeah if you just <laughs> go base. directly south can we yeah. make that run without getting exhausted i was gonna no. suggest like trying to lose them and then throwing up the fortress uh, um so i'm gonna i'm gonna move only my natural movement but i'm gonna use my ability to um i am gonna use my ability to burn my channel divinity to okay. get my um spell back all right so that's your bonus action you do still have an action if you'd like to dash yeah i want to dash i move 25 all feet right. <laughs> All right, move 25 more feet then. <laughs> These guys are overtaking me. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bosric, you're up. Uh, if I get Zir onto my back, how will that affect my movement? Giving you will be halved. Even with a 20 strength? Um, I'll have you roll athletics. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. So I was gonna say I have a twenty strength with that, but it would have impeded me, I think, because my size. Well, it's also because I'm quick. I have I have more speed. Yeah, well, you, you, you specified that you're kind of dragging her. Oh. Boz is picking her up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. If you were also intending to pick her up, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Fifteen. 
Uh, yeah, she'll she'll slow you down. She's um, she's kind of freaking out and can't be helped. Knowing Zier probably doesn't feel like being picked up. <laughs> yeah. Because even though you did pass through this tinnitus, you are still dealing with it. Good point. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll kind of try to communicate with Zier, on my back! And maneuver her onto my back. Okay, so uh, your speed is halved. All right, so I'll just go action and movement. Okay. 30 feet. All right. Um, and Zir, you are carried along with him. So you can just move yourself up next to him. All right, that will bring us to Clovis. Excellent. Um, How perfect. So you carrying me halves your speed? Because I didn't roll a proper athletics check. Hold on. Hold okay, on. but in the future you can... Oh, uh, Clovis running up behind you, uh, seeing you pick up Zir, is going to slap a hand on Bosric's back uh, and say, how about a little help from the city? Stendar! And I'm going to cast Enhance Ability, Bull Strength on you to double your carrying capacity. Hopefully that'll help with that. That will, in fact, do it. Uh, the reason he had to roll Athletics, by the way, um, is because you are in a combat scenario and he didn't have the time to like set, like get you set up. He kind of just like tossed you over his shoulder. Yeah, I wasn't questioning that. I was just, my speed halved is faster than Boz's speed halved. So it wouldn't make yeah. sense for him to take half movement when I could just move further um, yeah. with my half. So that, that's under why. Under normal circumstances, he won't. Because he won't have to roll an athletics check. Great, okay, excellent. Yeah. Um, cool, so Clovis, you cast Bull's Strength. Uh, and Zira, you're up. I'm fucking chilling, baby. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> um, I... Boz has not taken any harm since returning since to coming the back, dead. No. Okay. Um, does Clovis look hurt? Oh, yeah. Uh, Clo before this fight, Clovis has never taken more than a quarter of his hit points at one time. Uh, he went down today. Uh... Yeah, and is is barely better than that now. So yeah. he's just like covered in in wounds, uh, like s sprint hobbling uh, to catch up to Boz. Oh, I forgot lamb hands is an action, not a bonus action. Okay, yeah, no, I don't, I don't do shit. I don't do shit. Okay, shoot. Um, go ahead and roll me a migraine check, which is unless a unless I save. could, unless I could hide. <laughs> um, Can I blend into Boz? <laughs> crawl into his shirt pocket. Yeah. It's a you question, know what? <laughs> it's a question of, of who she hates. <laughs> because of your hood and the way that you have designed your character, I will say that you could put your hood up, hood up and essentially look like the back of Bosric's pack. Yes, you can roll a high check. Okay, I'll do that then with my bonus action. Okay. Um, so Two that's adventures in a trench still... coat. So 14? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, you think you're you're cinched right in there. Okay. Uh, now roll me a migraine check. And that's the constitution Con again? Okay. Mm -hmm. And are we... Have, I'm still in range for the bonus 5? Uh, it's yes, 10 range, you are. Right? Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Cool. That would be a 17 plus 5 for 22. Alright, uh, yeah, you're able to shake off the headache. Nice. Tweet it. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna display as if that is what has happened, no, because I am hidden and being carried, which I'm enjoying. <laughs> <laughs> so, to your knowledge, I do still have a headache. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. I am going to use my movement. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go here. Um. I am going to uh, attempt to do a little fixing of what Zier could not. Uh, I will give uh, Clovis my last second level spell slot. 
Wow. If only he were here. That'll be an extra 13 to him when he's here to hear it. Uh, okay. And then that was four squares, so I can move an extra two. Mm -hmm. That's my turn. All right. Uh, I will wait for Clovis to return. We'll just jam out to this music real quick. Let's go. Because I feel like this is something he won't want to miss when, you know, terrible things start happening. We can, I can, I'll, we can catch him up when he... Uh... Wow, um, yeah. terrible things right happening? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that, so that's yeah, why um, you said wow when I said I'll give him my last second level spell slot. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just keep up with that he has 13 more hit points. Um, you guys hear from outside a, sh a loud shattering of glass Whoa. and a screech. I am now going to add the monstrous form of Lady Seltradot to the initiative order. Spoiler, okay. guys, I'm pretty sure she rolled well. Um, oh, she did. News, she's got the top of the initiative order. <laughs> um, so she is going to um, use her movement, mm -hmm. which is uh, 80 feet. So she is going to bust out of this window to right here. Um, and as she flies out, you see this horrible creature. But uh, something that you all notice is that she doesn't look good. Um, there are black veins creeping up the, uh, le the right side of her body where Zir stabbed her. Um, and it seems like whatever poison was on the dagger is still inside her. Um, but she looks at you and she screeches. And what I need all of you to do, all of you are currently within the bubble, but I need all of you to make a constitution saving throw. Everybody but Clovis gets the plus five. Is this a spell or other magical effect? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. 21. All right. So what I rolled plus five? Correct. 21. Oh, the 20, the 26 for me. Oh, 21 then. It will be All a right. 24 for me. Nice. 22. Okay. Um, Clovis, you have healed 13 hit points. Hooray. And oh, I need dear. you to make a constitution saving throw as Lady Seltradot is screaming at you. Not hooray. <laughs> she said disparaging things about our mother. So far, everyone has passed. Uh, well, how's a 10? Uh, it's a fail. Plus five? Um, I'm not No, he in doesn't rage. get the plus five. Oh. He's not in range. Oh. Uh, so, five Clovis, pounds. you take 37 thunder damage. Uh, um, I am down. And the rest of you take 18. Okay as this sonic screech blankets all of you in this very loud noise. Um, okay, Clovis hits the ground, um, and Madame Seltradot is there, but that is all she can do. Galnus. Oh, well, I'm fucked. Um... <clears throat> God damn it, Clovis! Um, it's not his fault. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll look to um, uh, Bosrek, who I can see within range, because I'm pretty sure I heard him flop to the ground. Um, I'll be like, "Do you have that one too?" Yeah, how are you feeling? Uh, I can move. All right. Got to get. I'll have to take Clovis. Uh, concentration on enhanceability is now also down. Yes. Uh, so. 
So I'll just say, head south, run past me. And I'm going to move my full movement south. And I'm holding my action um, for okay. if she comes within range of me. Okay, so Bosric, you put Zir down. It is now your turn. I'm going to pick up uh, Clovis. All right, uh, roll, because he is dead weight right now, go ahead and roll an athletics check for me. 24. You scoop him up easily. Um, something in just seeing your friends fall, remembering what Clovis did for you in the last fight, empowers your strength. You are reminded that you are the captain of the Vermilion Vigil, and you scoop up Clovis. No, no effort. Will not slow you down at all. Was a bonus action. You can still dash. Woo. Um, but I don't complete. Like I kind of stop because, like, I'm not letting this guy sacrifice himself. If if this turns into a fight, this turns into a fight. Okay. Uh, just be aware that the map is going to change momentarily. Uh, okay, so you just kind of stop there? Uh, yeah, it's almost my full dash, but not quite. Okay. All right, uh, that will bring us to Clovis. Make a death save, please. Okay. Uh, that's a seven. All right, that is a fail. Womp womp. Zier. Now you can do the thing you wanted to do. <laughs> Yippee! Um, so Clovis, I assume, is where Boz is. Yeah. Yes, wise. Clovis is on Boz's back. Great. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, Here, I 35. will get him over there. Oh, that's not helpful. Okay, and then I go 5, 10, 15. I slap Clovis on the back. <laughs> um, and I go, if I, if I don't get to be carried, you don't either. <laughs> <laughs> and you get five hit points from my new lay on hands. Yeah. You see those mysterious vines that you took note of uh, flower slightly. As I as I imbue, I love it. imbue you with the uh, with some healing goodness. Hell yeah. All right. So now uh, you should all be able to see open land in front of you and a big spooky tree. Excellent. If I, I still did have this movement, correctly, so I will you did. You sure did. Um, so I that was okay. I ended at 35 and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 for Zia. All right. And I think she's just kind of as she's running, I think she's kind of looking at her hand like, did I did I fix it? <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> I don't think she I think she meant it like playfully and then it actually did something and she went what did i just do yeah. <laughs> so uh queen it i think i'm gonna run chief i i really don't know wait is there anything about this big spook you wait you said was you drawing attention to the big spooky tree just set dressing or is that important wouldn't is you that, like to know weather boy i would love to know <laughs> yeah. uh, 
I mean, it's far away. Can I take my full dash? Well... Can I, like... Okay. Let's see. Man, I am... I'm left in the dust here. Okay. Sorry, roll 20 is not cooperating at the moment. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I think I'm just gonna take my 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 dash. Okay. Uh, Sounds six, good. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Some of your spore power. Or actually, I don't know how your spore. I don't know going. what that is. I've never even heard of a spore power. Oh wait, yes I do. It's your your healing spirit. I forgot about that. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I have it written down. My healing spirit. No, it is an action though, so you wouldn't be able to dash and do that. Yeah. Um. What is is the spooky tree the one with no leaves? Uh this is the spooky tree. Yeah. So yes, the one with no leaves. Yeah. What, do um, I, what am I looking at? Other than what I will say tree. is it denotes the edge of the forest proper. Okay. Like these are all like sparse trees that exist, but that is where the forest starts. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill for right now. I I gotta run. <laughs> All right. Um, that will bring us to Madame Seltradot. Uh, she is going to vary in her like in this feral rage, hone in on the closest person she can see, which is Galnus, and she is going to run up to him. And she is going to take her full round of actions. But first, I need all of you to make a charisma saving throw. I'm sorry, a wisdom saving throw. Is okay. this a spell or other magical effect? No. <laughs> okay. That is going to be... 23. Uh, 24. I get a plus 11 to my wisdom saves. <laughs> I just got proficiency in it thanks to Elegant oh, here. It's a wisdom save. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that'll be a oh. 23, Chief. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You don't actually have to take it since you're unconscious. Uh, I'm not. I've been healed. I healed oh, yes. five. Yes. Okay, well, you do have to make it then. Unfortunate. <laughs> um, uh, but I rolled a 17, which hopefully means it's fortune. Um, well, <laughs> well. Uh, it's not, I'm afraid. Um, okay. Lovis and Zir. I got um, seven. <laughs> when you see her bearing down on you, Zir, probably because you're remembering that you had to kill this person, and even when you killed her, it wasn't enough. And Clovis, this is the first person to take you unconscious, and she's done it twice. That is Both true. of you are frightened of her. Oh, that's fine. That affects nothing about what I was planning to do. Well, yeah, <laughs> but just know that you have the frightened condition now. I, I, I think um, Clovis has gotten pretty used to that. And then she is going to make her full attacks on... Um, Galnus, starting with her two claw attacks. Um, the first one will be a miss, decidedly. The second one will be a miss. And the third one, uh, what is your AC? Uh, 23. That will hit. Um, when she does that, um, as her claw's coming towards me, I just... It looks like I punch the back of my shield and like a wall of fire seems to emanate from my shield as I use the shield spell. Okay, um, that is enough to make her bite, not hit. Um, and that will be the end of her turn. So, Galnus, you're up. Um, d well, wasn't my action held till she was in within range of me? Um, or, or she, uh, oh, she's at 10 feet away or is she right next to me? She's right next to you. <clears throat> Um, then I, I will start swinging on her, uh, because I remember I held my action until she got close. Yeah, you get, you can, you can attack once with a held action since you also moved. You have to hold your entire turn to get all three attacks, or to get more than one attack. Yeah, that's fine. 
Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me go to my character sheet here. Um, okay, that's a 13 plus actions. Uh, 13 plus 9. 22? 22. Miss. That's not good. It's not good at all. Oh, but it will be your turn. Um, so I am going to try to move away from her and just say uh, uh, to uh, Bosric and uh, Clovis, uh, uh, you, you, you lads better start walking. And I'm going to... Oh, that's, let me move back to it. All right. Uh, she will take her attack of opportunity. Yeah, she should. Makes perfect sense. That will hit. Okay. Um, yeah, well, uh, I, I would have to do it again. I'd have to use uh, shield yeah, again. Yeah, you have to shield again. And I'll shield again, and as I'm doing it, I'll be like, I remember you being tougher than this. And I'm going to um, turn, and I'll turn around, and I will say to them, you should really run. Um, like, I, like when I turn to them, you could see on his face that he's like, where he's the her. He's like, ha, ha, ha. when he's looking at them, he's like, oh, you should have. Yeah, and Boss is like, you so, too. <clears throat> you are unsuccessful in moving away from her. I'm unsuccessful in moving away from her? Yes, because she hit you with an attack. And she has the sentinel ability. Um, but I use shield, so did she still and hit you? And she shield? still hit you. She hit you with a 29. What the hell? Okay. Uh, so how much damage am I taking? 15 slashing damage. So, uh, your shield goes up and she just rakes right through it with her claws. Okay, well, it's active until the end of my next turn, so it's... Yes, so your AC is 28 until the end of your next turn. Okay. Um, and she will now use her legendary action to try and claw you again. On my turn? It's a legendary action. Oh, yeah. It's at the end of your turn. I mean, Uh, unless you have I haven't taken an action. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I haven't taken my action yet, but if she's using it... So uh, I, her legendary action will be at the end of your turn, so okay. you can go ahead and take your action. So I, I am going to use the attack action. Okay. Um, not that it really matters. Um, so that's not going to hit in the slightest. Um, and then that's going to be... Yeah, that's a, that's a 20. 30-20. All right, yeah, those will both miss. Yeah. Um, however, similar to the fight inside... You have got... What was the first attack? Do you remember? Like, what did you actually roll? The, uh, you, which which one? Oh, the the first attack Before the was... 20. Oh, um... It would have been 9 plus a 7, so it would have been a okay. 16. Uh, so you seem to be lowering your... She's got that crystal armor on her body still, and both of... Uh, two of your three hits have actually started to crack it. So it looks like one good hit, even if it doesn't actually break through her armor class, will shatter the shield. Um, all right. Uh, now she will use her legendary action to try and claw you. Um, which will miss. I uh, just breaks across your shield and she just screams. Uh, Bosric. Um, look. damn it all. Clovis is up. Yes. I'm going to set him down all right that's a free object interaction can't leave him unsupported I can't do it I can't get far enough to flank right no no you so. actually cannot flank her you are too she, small. She is unflinkable, good to know. Then screw it. I will. Bonus action. Fighting spirit. Okay. Swing. All right. And to quote a very troubled young man, 
I'm going to go all out just this once. <laughs> Can I... What's the opposite of inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that was great. Well done. Uh, I am actually going to do two-handed swing. Nice. Twenty-six. That'll do it. Keep in mind, though, that you are two-handing your sword for the crackback. Yeah. Fourteen. Nice. Swing again. All right. Yeah, I'm calling in a uh, what I'm not going to call an ancestral strike. All right, sounds good. Um, and the best part is this Seltra dot doesn't have the ability that lets her take those away. So uh, that's twenty-one plus however much you deal with your ancestor strike. Uh, well, what? How much would your ancestor strike deal normally? It's an additional 2d6 or 1d6? Additional 2d6. So that's 12 plus whatever you roll. And I'm assuming you're doing the Radiant variety. Mm-hmm. That's the only okay. option I have. All right. Uh, that was a big hit. Action surge! Okay. Yeah! I love fighters! <laughs> yes! We're so really fucking back, gang. We're so fucking back. Second ancestral strike. Okay. Mm. Alright, so that is 17 radiant damage. Oh, and I have to roll for the actual thing. Um, Just roll a d10. I rolled my... Yeah, that's okay. Uh, okay. Cool. And you got one more attack, I believe. Yep. Twenty-three. Uh, that will miss. Damn. But, with that last hit, um, you connect to the same spot that Galnus did over and over, and you see her crystal armor shatter. Right. Is that the end of your turn? That's it. All right. She is going to use her second leg legendary action um, to attempt. Uh, she kind of lifts off the ground a little bit, and she flaps her wings, and you can kind of feel yourself being pushed back. I need Galnus and Bosric to both make dex saves. Hey, but what about the crowbar? <laughs> <laughs> what? Where's the crowbar? Yeah, tell us more about that crowbar. An absolutely filthy 20. That 20 knows what it did, and it's proud of it. That is an 18. Okay. Um. So, Galnus, um, you're kind of reeling. Uh, you are going to get knocked down. Uh, did you add, yeah, you added your own fair. bonus for your thing, right? It's, it's automatic on my sheet, okay. so I just have to add what I have. Oh. Oh, if I'm yeah, if I'm next to him, actually twenty-five. I mean, you succeeded. So you, you were fine. You, you succeeded even harder. Um, so Galnus, you take eleven bludgeoning damage and are knocked over. Oh, uh, yep, that's, that sounds about right. Um, and Bosric, you're fine, and she's going to attempt to fly away. Uh, you can make an attack of opportunity if you want, or you can just let her leave. Oh, I am going to swing Mata Mata. I don't have <laughs> Sentinel, so she's getting away anyway, so I might as well swing. Okay. There's a there's a crowbar tied to her, right? No. Sadly, no, uh, sadly no uh, advantage on this, but that won't hit. Okay. And then she will uh, take the rest of her turn to fly over to here. Clovis, you're up and afraid. Yeah. Um... She is flying away, yes? Yes. Okay. Um. Um. It, no one looks like they're in immediate grievous danger. 
Um, Don't believe so. I'm at half health. This still feels like what... Yeah, this feels like what he would do, because he wouldn't he wouldn't be in a position to take stock of what's happening right now. Um, first, Clovis is going to move one, uh, one thing to the side so that he has perfect tree stump cover from where she okay. is. Uh, <laughs> Uh, just sort of scooching further behind this, uh, and then he is going to, with his back against the tree stump and eyes clo- like squeezed shut, uh, start muttering uh, prayers to Stendar because he's like fully lost it again. Um, and through those prayers, he's going to cast uh, a new spell that he gained, Aura of Life. Uh, so there is now a 30-foot sphere, uh, 30-foot radius sphere uh, emanating from him. Nice. So everybody gets a hit point? Uh, no. So until the spell ends, it moves. the aura moves with me. Each non-hostile creature in the area, including me, has resistance to necrotic damage, and their hit point maximum can't be reduced. And in addition, a non-hostile living creature regains one hit point at the start of their turn if they begin their turn with zero hit points. Oh, nice. Very so cool. essentially, if you're down and your turn starts, you're up. Cool. Zier. Uh, well, um, are we still running? I hear fighting noises. I mostly, I, we, we can still run. You can certainly, we can, I'm probably still going to run if she's running. I just couldn't, I couldn't leave him. Does anyone reply in character? Oh, oh, are you saying? Yeah. Resume retreat! Okay, great. <laughs> uh, I assume we're still in rounds, aren't we? Yes. Okay, so. Uh, I'll, res- uh, I'll, be, uh, I'll be up in a minute. I'll be up in a minute. <clears throat> I resume retreat. Um, and I can go so fast. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go so fast towards that ominous tree in a major way. All right. So I no longer have migraine effect, but I do have frightened. Um, but I can go my double dash. Yeah. How do you, how do you do the ruler again? Uh, on the left hand tab. Yeah, there should be a little ruler on the left. I know there's a ruler, but there's like a way. There's a way to make it to where you move. I always forget. Okay. So I go thirty-five. And then I go 70, and then I go 105. Okay. Uh, yeah, I run all the way to the tree, and I put my hand on it, and I yell base. <laughs> I've reached base. I'm no longer. Okay. I am no longer part of the game of tag. Do you actually put your hand on the tree? Oh yeah. Okay. So um, as Sierra touches <laughs> you, the tree you know. <laughs> and turns to talk to all of you. Zir disappears. Oh, sweet! (laughs) (laughs) I love that I am a character that touches shit without thinking about it! (laughs) Um, Zir, you find yourself in a field. There's no spores on the ground here. You can see the green grass. There's a smell of flowers that you don't exactly recognize. Um, It's sort of pungent, but it's not unpleasant. But you also smell burning embers. Oh. Huh. I will just look in that general direction, but I assume I am, I am out of all my uh, movement. The last action, thing I will so. say before we move on is you see a large plume of smoke. Perfect. Tweet it. So, they, <laughs> so it, it was like a perfectly cut scream where Zir looked back triumphantly and yelled bass, but it was more like... Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I see this in front of me. Yes. Yeah, everybody, everybody sees Zier disappear when she touches the tree. And everybody's chilling. We're all running. Yeah, I see no reason not to take my full. Uh, if, if, if you would be of mind to be looking at him, Clovis does not seem to have gotten that memo. He is. Eyes clenched shut, back against the tree, fully in prayer. Right, I did see that. Yeah, because I looked back at the fighting. Okay, 
Um. Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh. Okay. Um. Well, I don't want to interrupt your prayer. That's important. Um. That's like rude to do. Uh. Um. <laughs> Cleric taboo. Yeah, I don't. I you can't interrupt another man's prayer. Yeah. Um, if you stop me partway through, I have to start the forty lashes again. Yeah. I. But. What you doing there, man? Um, 40 lashes. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> um, honest to God, I mean... I do <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm worried about him. I am. Just gonna like verbally check is is like your head is bowed you're not looking at anything eyes shut it's a it's a scared prayer it's not a re it's not a religious prayer it's a please god help prayer right right can i, I and i i get the feel i get the feeling you're not going anywhere anytime soon because you are frightened okay um can I attempt to I wanna attempt to to do something about that. I think you know him enough that it, yeah. you get you probably would get the impression that if you just like yelled pointedly at him to get his attention, he probably would. Yeah, that's that's where I'm at. I just I cuz I want to be moving, but I I just like yeah, I'm going to do that cuz I was I was debating you know, questioning uh you know, awaiting orders from from Boz. Um but I am going to uh yeah, I'm just going to turn back and say Clovis Run now, emotions later. I know, I know. We've got to run. Zir just vanished. We've got to run. Uh, and... I think his eyes would snap open at that. But it's not my turn, so. Yeah, and I'm just gonna, that's all I'll say. Uh, and I'm, I'll continue taking my full dash. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I refuse to use a ruler. I've never heard of that before. That's me. Okay. Um, Seltradot kind of turns on the wing and screeches to the remainder. I will find you! There is nowhere you can run from me! And then she's going to fly back into her castle. Yeah, okay. Okay, guy. <laughs> Y'all want to talk shit right now? I can turn this ass around. <laughs> I said bye-bye. I stayed put just in case you did. All right. Combat. I'm actively, as she's going, I'm going to lick a bit of her blood off my sword and spit mm. it out. I'm, I'm just... There's dirty stuff in there. I, I'm just going to use my level 2 spell. I'm just gonna cast Fine Steed. And I'm gonna okay. slow, um, as my, uh, it's funny that it's almost the same creature, though. A lot more majestic and not anywhere near as scary as a giant goat appears and just, uh, I kind of throw myself over it and just, uh, just say south. And I just let it, char I'll just hold on and let it charge off. Do the walk. Girl with Oh, no, actually, what I'll say is, home. So where the girl went. That will perk me up, and I'll be like, she's in my home, and now we're charging. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stealing your shit, baby. Yep, yep. About, <laughs> about to be a lot of heat metal and smites happen into you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, so we're out of initiative, so you guys can, um, Clovis, as you kind of snap out, 
um, at the end of your prayers, um, you hear a voice, a, a calm, soft voice that you've heard before, say, Guardian, on your feet. Uh, he, like, almost falls trying to get up fast enough, uh, gets to his feet, but he's kind of leaning, dragging on his spear. Yes. I'm up. We stand. Uh, is it over? Huh. I didn't expect to be alive. Uh, you see um, the blind dwarf on the back of a spectral goat just screaming towards the tree at the bottom. <laughs> that seems important. Um, Bosric, are you okay? I did everything I could. I'm so sorry. It. I think I need. I think I need to practice with Queden. There are th some things that I. I need to. I need to know how to do that. I. I just don't. I'm sorry. You did what you could. Okay. Um. And Zir, we're gonna cut back to you. Uh, as you're kind of marveling at this, you get about ten seconds to enjoy where you are before apparently out of the ether the blind dwarf comes rocketing through the circle of flowers not trampling any of them um you can see that the hooves of the goat have a little bit of like heat on them and he just kind of kloop, skids to a halt right next to you on the back of this spectral goat as i pull up i'll just be like don't touch my things Uh, and I'll your get things. Th your things are burning, <laughs> and I'll point towards the pluming smoke. <laughs> um, the pluming smoke. What would I uh, know about the pluming smoke? That's your forge. Um, I'll just okay. So I'll just. <laughs> that's supposed to be pluming. I doused huh. it before I came to y'all. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> um, and at about this point, with a, <laughs> the rest of the party is now in this circle of flowers. Ah! Um, ah! Queden, ah! you know the smell of wolfsbane. So you smell it pungently as soon as you walk through. I do. I don't know what to do with that information. That's the first time you've smelled it here. Where is here? <laughs> I mean, here being like this area. Mm -hmm. This realm. You do also know, Quedon, because of your specific fear, that it is used to repel lichens. Mm-hmm. This is... What? Where are we? Some kind of... Home. You're at some kind of a home. His home. And I'll point at Galvin's. I though I wouldn't recommend you venture too far outside the the ring of flowers. Are and, we safe here? Uh, I will touch my um, my uh, my armor, cast men so all the scratches everything go, and then in full plate you'll notice I just go, and it just come falls off of me. Ah, yeah, you're quite safe here. Uh, Bosric, you would know armor is not that easy to take off. <laughs> and want someone like that? And I'll pick it up and just come come inside. You can have a cigar. You can have some mead. Have some food. Just don't touch my my forge. Simple things. Thank you for yes, the aid. I, you, I do you think we need to talk. Give us would have gone much worse without you. And I Thank will you. I will go around as people get within ten feet of me, and I will mend your armor so it's nice and clean are we just are we just trusting this guy oh thank goodness my uh, robes were ribbons well he's given us no reason not to <clears throat> uh last my my eyes don't work my ears do um it's your call i'm gonna get some salted pork and i'll just walk into uh the home <laughs> what reason do you have not to trust him child of horogoki 
This voice is coming from nowhere in particular, but all of you can hear it. Oh. Um, um, can I religion check it? We've been go for it. We've been in a place where we can't really trust anybody, and he just kind of came out of nowhere. At uh fourteen. Uh, you've. Th this sounds divine, but you can't quite put your finger on where it's from. Okay. I suppose uh, that's fair, but he, has he done anything malicious towards you? Or has not he yet. helped you? Ah, uh, helped. Work sounds good. Uh, to whatever, who, whichever entity it is, it's speaking. We've had a very bad day. Honestly, his arrival was the best part of it. Uh, DM, do you think Clovis, seeing what he's seen of Galness, and also knowing of this place, uh, like, seeing what I can see of this place, do you think he could organically piece together who might be speaking to him, or would that be, like, an um, insight? Roll... Because your religion check didn't go well, I'm going to have you roll history, but I'm going to have you roll okay. it with advantage. Okay. I like the sound of that. Uh, uh, it's a natural 20. I don't think I need to roll the other one. What, what was it? I'm sorry, it cut out. Uh, I rolled a 20 on the first die, so oh, history, yeah. that's 25. Um, yeah, so I will say that with that natural 20 on history... Um, being that you are a book guy, let me switch the music. We're not in the mansion anymore. I rolled the other one just in case it was one. It was not. Okay. Uh, being that you're a book guy, uh, you've seen Galnus, like who book. seems very forge-related. Uh, he doesn't seem to draw his power from the sun. He seems to draw his power from some kind of fire. There are three entities that are associated with fire in the forge, and only one of them is masculine. And that is Adivar the Ram. And that makes sense, because go. I get it. I see. Um, uh, I think at that, uh, Clovis will go over to Zir and just kind of uh, give her like a little clap on the shoulder. For what it's worth, I think we can trust him and the voice. Mainly because of because of the voice. Oh. Okay. And, and now we're just out here trusting voices. You are all very fun. This is a different voice. This one is feminine. But it's not the matron. It sounds similar to the matron, but it's not the matron. Hmm. Yeah, what, what have you brought us? What about that one? <laughs> uh, I'm just, I don't know. I just only clock the one. Loudly from inside, I'll be like... Ah, uh, Tradat punching in the face. Uh, big one died. Um, few of the others got scared. Uh, little one showed up later. Interesting. Well, all are welcome to warm themselves. Come in, come in. Galna says this is his home, but truly it's mine. He just tends it for me. Do so you know Sel Tradat? And Zir will start trotting that way. <laughs> oh, my dear, I know all of you. I've known you since before your spark was birthed into your body, and I will know you when it rejoins my eternal flame. There are so many people who know uh, who I am. Clovis immediately just like, drops like <laughs> into full prostration. Oh, now that's not necessary. Please, a follower of Stendhal should stand proud as a guardian of the city. Uh, he'll stand back up. Thank you, lady. Uh, I appreciate that it was not necessary, but take it as a sign of my immense respect. It is an honor to be in, in your presence alone. Who do you think I am, little one? Well, you're the hearth, are you not? My, but you are a smart one. I am. I like a good book. Um, when he says that, all of you, even if you have no interest in religion, you know the Hearth Mother, one of the two primordial entities that created the world. Oh. 
basically for those of us with a Greek bend, this is Nyx. It takes me it takes me a moment. I also I don't go to the floor, but I like the, the, a very deep like and a child of Zarakus. My, this is an interesting day. Who are the weird names you're saying? You must forgive my disciple. He is not a religious man. And yet a disciple. A godsend, you might say. (laughs) I do like to think so. Uh, I'd say with that, you would probably, uh, where you saw that plume of smoke, you would probably have heard. (laughs) And then shortly thereafter, you would hear, chink, chink, and you'd hear somebody working metal. Um, so, Galnus, as they walk into the modest living area that you have, can you describe it for me? Because it doesn't have a map, because I wasn't going to build something that's yours. Uh, I wish I'd known, because I would have built the map. Um, <laughs> so when you walk in, you see uh, a sturdy uh, bed on the back wall, plenty of cabinets, um, a cooking area. A bi- it's a very modest home. If you think of somebody who just is their hobby... This is basically a place where he eats, he sleeps. There would be schematics and things out where you see, like, looks like blueprints for making different weapons, spears, axes, hammers. Um, And then there would be a side door that would open up to a covered um, outdoor area where you would see different metals in it just stacked high some slag you'd see some melted weapons as if uh weirdly it looks like they were melted from the guard up not the blade down um you would see a rack with a bunch of different random weapons that he made um and then you would if you walked outside you would see him just working a new piece of metal Interesting priorities, that one. But uh, seems to be an ally. What are you? He's calling back to you. He His hearing works. <laughs> so, wh- when, what are you? As in, am I an ally? Well, you said interesting one. What's interesting? And he's just working the metal. I suppose all kinds of people are interesting to me, but not a bad interesting. I just, forgive me, we've, um, we have been through a lot today. We lost someone I was just beginning to respect. And... You show up very soon after, so it, it, I appreciate your help. It, it's, it's just all a bit fast. I'm still, you know, going through my grieving rituals, my postmortem, Zarakis things. Well, I didn't just show up for you. An old friend told me I might be needed, and you were. Um, see. Truly, Galmas, thank you yes. for showing up, whether you were called to or not. Um, yes. it, it, I mean, literally means the world, because it's my life would not exist in all likelihood had you not. Um, all of ours. <laughs> you would have been fine. You got a good head on your shoulders. I mean, unless she takes it off. But before that, good head. She seemed like she was gunning for it. <laughs> well... I'm sorry about um, your friend. And he motions in the area that you're in. He doesn't point directly at uh, Quedon, but he kind Mm. of is like probably a little off, but in that general region, he goes, oh, I don't have enough beds for all you. Um, I've got one. I've been here a long time and I don't get guests. Uh, So uh, I, I could make you some beds. 
Um, so you can rest or you can sleep on the floor. I do have a table if you guys want to um, sit around, drink. Uh, you can you can have my mead. I can I can make more. Um, so drink your fill, uh, eat your fill. If need be, we can go a little bit outside the uh, the flowers to hunt for some uh, food. Uh, but we probably shouldn't go too far. But um, I'm going to work on this. Um, and I just hold up the metal. Um, if you guys uh, need anything, let me know while I'm here. Because once I start working on a project, I don't uh, I don't generally walk away from it easy. <laughs> no, he does not. Hey! I'll just say it with respect. You know, it's... It's, I'm a blacksmith. You got a blacksmith. You what know? do you think I picked you? Why do you think we picked you? <laughs> um, two things. Uh, one, in that yard area that kind of was ahead of the um, the house, Galnus, you would have noticed when you came back, it was a lot larger than when you left. It seems like the area has expanded. Um, Clovis, you see that there is enough space for you to pop down the tower. I was, I was about to... Um, um, it is still in in character uh, because before he would do it, he would especially knowing what kind of space this is, uh, he would say, "If it would not offend you, the Lord or the Lady, um, Lord I, the we lady. do actually have our own uh, accommodations. If you wouldn't mind, uh, sort of, I don't suppose an obstruction of your view would be particularly um, nuisance to you, but uh, unfortunately, are you fucking kidding me? Our view." does not extend beyond the ring, the ring of flowers. We have no knowledge of what goes on outside of our little piece of paradise, so in exchange for setting up your enclosure, I suppose, you have to tell me what you saw. I'd like to know what's happened in the last 200 years since the lady brought me here. I do wish she'd let me see outside, but this is partially her realm and even I don't have sway over that uh, Clovis will walk out and start setting up the uh, the little rook statue my lady I'll tell you my entire life if you'd like <laughs> only since you uh, came here uh, I know before that so Galdus is going to look at you guys and go you can do whatever you'd like if you allow me to take just a look outside the flowers oh Sure. Stand up. Uh, and the and, tower appears. And, uh, he's just going to be like, wow. Um, but that didn't grant what I asked. Oh, no. That was a separate sort of thing. I just. And I'm looking your at. Your house Bo is lovely. I don't want to sleep on the floor, though. Um, and I, I'm looking at. Um, Bosra, because he was the one that said he wouldn't leave me behind, and like so, I basically just asked to look outside the flowers. I looked at him, and I, I'm gonna give him a wink, like, <laughs> and I'll just, I'll just start cackling as I go back to work on my on my metal. <laughs> um, you hear a voice, Galnus. Yeah, are you sassing me? And you see your your forge starts to diminish. Uh, <laughs> well, how come you get to see if I don't? Because, my dear, I'm 10,000 times your age. Elders get certain privileges. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Just, just one, one once. Just once to remember. Just once. <laughs> Perhaps in time. Ah. But, what has become of the realm? It's pretty bleak. Well, it was bleak when we came here. I'm going to put down my I metal. Um, I are we still... I suppose I wouldn't know what it was like 200 years ago, so I wouldn't know what to compare it to. I are do. we still in it? I'm afraid Where so, are my we? dear. Mortals are not... Mortals are not able to leave a domain of dread. So what is this place? A domain of dread with the last measure of divine power granted by the matron. 
She needed to protect Galnus, so she put up the Ring of Flowers, and she invited us in. And well, how do we a piece go... of us, at least. And how do we go back? You can simply walk outside the Ring of the Flowers, but that is where the protection ends. Huh. What I'm curious about is how you found this place. It's very well hidden. Tree. Tree. The goat I'm brought me tree. back. I'm tired of speaking without a form, and the forge kind of flares for a minute, and what is basically a blue flame elemental sort of steps out of the forge, says, ah, oh, and she sort of cracks its back. That's better. Now, a tree brought you here. Well, that would be the matron bringing you here, I suppose. I highly doubt that tree would be there anymore if you went back. Oh. Yeah, we were she about to... She did send Galnus to keep you safe. We were about to be in a bad spot, so I guess that makes sense. Well, while here, you were under the protection of the Mother Hearth and Adavar the Smith. Hey, don't volunteer me for things. I am your mother. I will volunteer you for whatever I bloody well choose. Oh. Yes, Mom. So is this just—is <laughs> this just like our safe house now? And I'll look at Galnus. Uh, I don't know how safe it's going to remain. Uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll uh, look in the direction of uh, Adavar and uh, his uh, avatar, and then just uh, be like, "Tradad." This is the Mother Hearts. Oh, Mother Adavar is still in the uh, forge. So I'll, I'll hear her say. Uh, Tradada's lost none of her potency. No? What what of the other what of the other five? I don't know. I don't know. Five? Uh Onigomo, uh Professor Friend. He's a fun one. <laughs> oh hell yeah. He uh if he gives you a drink, uh yeah, yeah, to uh completely take it. It's uh definitely a a, a trip. <laughs> I didn't see him while I was out there. If Five? you're referring to the Dukes, <laughs> yeah. we've we've interacted with some of them. What about Gratos? Is Gratos around? Yeah. Gratos, uh okay, uh uh Onigumo. I don't think so. Uh not sure. Perf Professor Friend, the uh, matron would have told you about all of them. Uh, we know, we know a Seltra dot. She's older, yeah, yeah. A Folger. A Folger. A, a Gratos. And Elizabeth. And, Li oh, is Elizabeth a duke? Who the fuck is that? She's, she's The lady in black. A psychic warrior. Seer says, uh, <laughs> questioning them. <laughs> well, uh, they're all different, uh, it seems, or at least most of them. Uh, somebody must have overthrown the Dukes. It's a constant, struggle. constant power struggle over there, it hmm. sounds like. Yeah. No, it, it, well, it tends to be. Uh, just didn't think anybody would displace so many of them. I'm certainly not sad to see Onigumo gone. Fren was funny. I'm glad you thought so. Uh, you gotta get your laughs where you can. I don't get my laughs from schizophrenic monsters, Skelness. He isn't always a monster. Sometimes he's perfectly okay. He's gotta lay off the sauce is the problem. Well, I guess he doesn't have to do it anymore. We... I think there's a lot that we need to talk about. Um, uh, can I pull out the book? Mm -hmm. Are and you see what it says? Are you staying with us, or are you back home now? Well, technically, you're staying with me, or I mean, you're staying He's here. Got us there. I mean, are you like part of our group now, since the matron sent you? Uh. The matron Return. wanted the matron wanted me to rejoin the world, so I'd assume I am. Oh. Um. I. It, you could always tell me to stay, and I'll just go back to making weapons until such time that uh, I'm pushed out again. 
Um, I think you should go with them, Geldus. I mean, and he will point, like, he'll, he'll wave his hand towards, like, the weapons that are all set up and be like, I mean, I could always just, I mean, we're obviously at a shortage for weapons. I mean, I could always prepare for the next group. We're, we're down, we're down a member. They come back. They always, well, they don't always come back. He's... Uh, I he's think that, and I'm gonna think. motion in the direction of Bosrek and be like, "That he came back. He just poof." We lost the other one first, so I think if oh, he was he's... on his way back, we probably would have gotten him by now. I know. Uh, I take it from the child of Zarekis. Ah, that means about as much to me as the color of a leaf. I have no idea what that is. Oh, because I have a bit of extra knowledge. On life and death. That, that, that is context. I like that. It's very ominous. I'm, you definitely got a vibe going on. Zarakis is very ominous. Yeah, I like, tried to be a little bit less so, but you see, when you say Zarakis is very ominous, the Mother Earth looks a little sad when you say that. <laughs> um, and uh, Clovis, when you check the book, you don't see any mention of a professor friend or an Oniguma. Okay. Where is Boz right now? He's kind of when the when the the entities started talking, he actually kind of he's in, but he's not like he's kind of like leaning in a door frame, just kind of half in his own head, but but paying attention. He's okay. also like Occasionally, like, pressing on himself, like, he's, like, he's trying to assess something about his body, like, like, almost looking for a wound. Yeah. When Galnus mentions the fact that you came back after dying, Zir's gonna make eye contact with you. And she's gonna lift up her arm and point where her corruption spot is. And Boz will nod as in like, yeah, I'm trying to, f that's, that is literally what he's trying to figure out is where his is. Okay. Mm, well. Zero nods and we'll start to move towards you. Uh, well, Have we done proper introductions? Oh, um, uh, yeah, uh, my home, I guess I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to start. I'll turn to the mother hearth. Am I supposed to start? Who starts? Yes, you should start and you should introduce us to your new friends. Okay. Um, this is the fire. That's the forge. Um, Mother Hearth rolls her eyes and um, just disappears back into the forge. <laughs> um, they're, uh, they're good. They're good. Good people. Uh, um, um, Galnus Ironsight. Um, yes, the name is not lost on me. It was a, a gift from some friends. Um, they're no longer here, much like your friend. Um, although not as near for me. It's been uh, about 200 years they've been gone. So not as uh, not as fresh of a wound as you guys. Um, I'm a blacksmith. Um, when I'm in the world, I, uh, I'm pretty good with a hammer and a shield. It's kind of what I am. I don't know if that helps you. I like cigars. I like I like scotch. I like mead. I like I like alcohol. Um, uh, I mean, I really don't know what you want to know. I don't I don't do introductions. I was a blacksmith. I came here. I was a blacksmith. I was a shield. Um, I was blind. Um, and then I was a blacksmith again. So, uh, well, do you need something all, else or how all does roads that... lead to blacksmith? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's what I said. Like, what are you? Like, I'm a blacksmith. It's what I am. It's what I do. What? It's what I will what go back to us? once this nightmare is over. Well, I am Quedon. I have spent my professional life protecting over the boundary between life and death. I deal with burial, prayers, and rituals, and all of the 
nastier aspects of death as well throughout many communities. Um, and if this eases you at all, I was not always a religious man myself. I was, uh, well, I made many mistakes and being a god guy is what saved my life. So I am, I, I serve a forever debt to uh, that of Zarekis. That, that's, I'm not a religious guy. Um, and that is okay. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, but it sounds like uh, you have a, a healthy or unhealthy uh, relationship with death. Um, so are you okay? Death is perhaps the only thing that I was okay with for a very long time. I'm learning to be okay with all the other things, socially and life-wise. Um, I will be. I, uh... I take out my flask and I offer it to you, like... Yeah, I'll take, I'll, I'll, I'll take a sip, yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, that helps with social interactions. <laughs> that is strong. That is strong. It well, yeah, it's supposed to fuck you up. It's that's that's dwarf. That's that is dwarf meat. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it grows on you. It grows on you. <laughs> um, these are my, and you see him hesitate before. These are my friends. Right. I forgot the rest of us were going to have to do that part, too. Um, hello. I'm Clovis. Uh, for a long time, I was a priest. Uh, I guess more of a scribe, really. Uh, to my god, Stendar. Um, I had the office of cleric, but I didn't really understand all the uh, facets of the job until I came here. Uh, Stendar called me to be something higher than I was, and, um, well, still trying my best to figure out how to, uh, live up to those expectations, but he's with me, uh, more so than I realized. Uh, you, you guys really love your gods, don't you? Jeez. Uh, yes, very much so. Yeah, that's, uh, it's a lot of gods in you guys there, um, but, you uh. live with them. You have, yeah, you do have, like, the <laughs> gods in your home. Oh. Okay. I assume that they, <laughs> I assume I they probably that, didn't yeah. tell you for a, what they would consider a good reason. Uh, no, told maybe told multiple maybe, times. With, with, mm. uh, with you guys being so in tune with, uh, you know, gods and things of a godlike nature maybe i could learn from you over time um what a um would you say zerebus and you yeah zerebus your god zarakis uh, hey close on the first try <laughs> i i give you like a like a soft <laughs> golf clap it is one of but, the harder ones to pronounce uh, it, it took me a while and then, but to someone who no i I seeked power for a long time, and, and there are advantages to being uh, God guys. Well, you know the bad thing about seeking power? You might find it. It's the last thing you're going to want. Well, I never found it, but I found the consequences, that is for sure. Consequences I, you I always a, find. Yeah, I give a smile, and I just back up, and that's... I, and I will walk around... you, warrior? I will walk around and I will slap uh, Clovis on the arm and be like, <laughs> yeah, we'll get you sorted, though. <laughs> I saw. Uh, yeah, uh, you're carrying a shield. We'll show you how to use that bad boy. <laughs> the voice asks again, what about you, warrior? Bosric Cobb. I guess call me Boz or Cobb or Bosric. Doesn't matter. I'm a samurai. What's that? A fighter of uh, 
certain cer- there's a little bit of a ceremony to it, I suppose. Uh, a special class of fighter from the Adamant Isles, Geldus. There you go. That's that was way more information. Be polite. No, I, I am. It was a lot of information. I'm not being rude. You're being a little rude. I'm sorry if I was a little bit rude, Bozrek Cobb. You're fine. Do you want a cigar? I'll give you a cigar. Here, and he gives you, literally offers you the one, just goes, yeah, here you go. Uh, maybe later. Okay. I, uh... And then he'll go even to, like, since Zier is near him, he'll be like, you? This one's really good. Uh, all right, well, okay. I tried to share. That's the cloaked one? I offered it uh, to the cloak one. I want to know who she is. Oh. Um, well, I guess everyone calls me Zier, so my name is Zier. You guess? You don't know? Well, I, I'm not used... To, going by my actual name is kind of new to me, so... What do but, you want me to call you? You can call me Zier. All right. Um... I used to be called Death, but we kind of have a Death guy. Are you two your friends before this? No. It just it, it, it was just sort of like out. a symbolic thing, and and like yeah. It... Oh, okay. Okay. I I did sort of make things awkward with that. Did was that me? Did I do that? I. I... No, you're you're fine. You're fine. You I hey. like to be called. If you offended me, I wouldn't have offered you my booze. No, no I'm not talking to. Wait. Sorry, who was he talking this to? Was long, this was a long time ago. I'm, I'm ruining. I'm, I'm uh, Clovis will lean over towards Galnus and say, "I'm trying to collect the full set of what." That was sorry. That was a joke on their sort of unified theme. I guess probably without the context, that wouldn't have been as funny. My bad. I'm, <clears throat> uh, would it? Zero, will you, you feel saying? better if I laugh? I yeah, don't want very you very to... much. Very much so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Good one, and I and I smack Clovis on the back. <laughs> I enjoyed that greatly, oh. and I do have a twenty in strength, so he's literally. Yeah. That's yeah. A Sweden stop. and of Clovis both says here you were saying at the same time. <laughs> like... Uh huh. <laughs> um, I don't know. What do you want to know? Well, I'd like to know how you got the broken off piece of my son's antlers. Found it. Your son? That makes sense. That's true. Uh, it was at uh, the bottom of Seltradot Manor. She had it in a special little containment field. Bosric, do you still have the um, Orum skull? No, I had to trade mm. it to um, I had to trade it to uh, Herr Folger for the message. Ah, that's right. Um, she had it in a, a sort of null field, uh, surrounded by Orum seem to be trying to uh, dampen its power. It, it's remarkably effective against her. Intriguing. Is she back in the well, is she back in the forge? Yeah. I'm going to tap on the forge and be like, um, so he's a, uh, a samurai. He said he's a god guy. He said he's a priest. What did you call me before? I've called you a paladin in the past, because you're certainly not a cleric of mine, but you do fight with divine power, so I suppose that is the closest thing to what you are. I'm a paladin. <laughs> yes. I always did look up to the paladins. Yeah. What was that? Uh, it's a neat. Neat? Uh, uh, pr probably not the neatest person. Um, I don't no, clean that's up. certainly not true. He wasn't neat before he couldn't see, so imagine now that he's blind. <laughs> hey, look at well, all of my equipment is exactly where I need it to be. And I just kind of reach down and pick up a piece of metal and just put it in the fire. <laughs> all of you take your rest. I'm sure you need it. I, I'm i going to look at um, what's birthday saying, but um, using uh, the senses I have. I'm going to run my fingers along, like I assume. Where, um, Clovis, where's the uh, spear you use? Um, so on your back? Right, right now, he's like sort of using it as an improvised crutch. Um, 
I'm gonna like kind of just feel it out and I think we can do better than this. Can I can I have this? Oh, absolutely. All right. <laughs> And um, as Galnus gets to work on the spear, I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to take our mid-session break. We will be back. <laughs> and we return. So when we left our heroes at the break, they had just ventured into a strange sort of liminal space protected from the outside dangers by a ring of Wolfsbane. They found Galnus's forge, where they met the entities the Mother Hearth and Adivar the Smith. And they have set up their tower for sleeping. But I believe we were in the midst of introductions. We had just finished, perhaps, and are now moving on to other things. So, players, the floor is yours. I'm going to start working that um, spear tip. Hmm. Hey, uh, did you want a shape on this thing or something? Or do you just want it to be boring? Like, what do you want? Um, uh, what, pointy? I was, I'm kind of, I'm new to Do you want? Do you want it to flare? Thing. Do you want me to put a pattern in it? You, you want me to make it, I could do something with it outside of pointy, sticky, hoppy. Sure. Um, uh, Arti I'm tempted to just say artist's choice, but that kind of feels like a cop out. Um, oh, I don't know shit about you, so I would probably not do that. <laughs> fair, fair. Um, and you, oh, and you don't know about Stendar either. That's a no, real kicker. You say stand tall, S Stendar. Oh yeah, you know your your thing. Yeah, no. Do you know what a turtle is? I will guide do his I hand. Know what a turtle is? If you is? want a Stendar related spear, I will guide his hand. I know what yes. a turtle looks like, and he's looking between them <laughs> and the forge. Account. Well, technically, he's a tortoise, but <clears throat> anyway. Um, yes, uh, that was that was the hearth mother, correct? <laughs> yeah, yes, hearth mother. Um, something, uh, and he'll hold up his shield. Something to accompany this. And th 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 that's literally what um, <laughs> Galnus is doing. And the forge will sort of flare up and say. Very well. All right. Galnus, follow my lead. All right, just put it in my mind and let's rock. That is exactly what happens. <laughs> <laughs> and I go to work. All right. Anything else you guys want to do before uh, moving Boss. on to evening time? Boz is actually, the minute there's a minute to kind of peel away... He's gonna go remove his armor and try and find where the corruption point, the corruption patches. Zero is staying near you, and just, I mean, I, you can certainly follow and try and. Yeah, if you start to peel away, because she's pretty sure she knows what you're doing, she'll follow. So yeah, he'll. Um, is is there anything about yourself that you don't like? That feels like a really deep question, and you don't have to answer, but... He's just gonna keep... He's gonna, he's, once he's got the, the his chest plate and stuff removed, he's actually gonna start looking... Like, physically, I mean, skin. not... not like, I'm emotional. trying to find... I'm trying to find out if I've got one of those patches like you've got. I And I'm also doing that in my own way. Is there anything about you physically you don't like? No, that you wish to... was better. No, that's a that's a really. I'm just kidding, um, Jardmaster. Have I found the the patch of corruption? Yes. Where is it? It is on the palm of your dominant sword hand. Because try as you might, strong as you are, you couldn't protect your sister. Oh, 
he takes a he takes a mad look briefly at his sword, like. You found it. Technically ambidextrous, but he doesn't think it would help. <laughs> um, we, need, we need to find some way to get rid of these. It's uh, probably too powerful for any cleric magic that our friends have currently. I don't. I don't think it is something we get rid of. It's, um, well, so, the way it was explained to me, I don't know, this might be different because we're special, I guess, but everyone who comes back comes back a little different, typically. Like, um, there was that one guy you were talking to. He really admired you. Yeah, that weirded me out. Crazy. And and when he died, he came back, and because he admired you so much, he, he looked a bit more yes. <laughs> Yeah, but that caught me flat-footed, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so, uh, this is probably that for you, which is why I asked what I asked. I mean, I don't know. I mean, mine's on my wrist. I don't know what that means. Someone told me that that means I probably don't really have anything about myself that I want to change. Which I'd agree to. I think it's just something we deal with now. Well, what was that sound? That's what I'm worried about. Do you think it's going to get worse? If, if we, we keep getting anymore? these? Probably. Whatever this is, it is likely has something to do with Did you meet them? Um I think I heard them. What was it like? It just... It said that I couldn't... It was really mocking. It was really condescending. It was... So you think, oh, no, you can't die yet. You you know, you've got to meet the Baron. And you've... You know, and she wants to play with you. I'm guessing they're talking about the lady in black. Mm. It is murder on... Which, to try and say her name with my tusks. And that's when he notices that his tusks have grown. Well, what do you know? Well, something changed. I don't know if it's something I wanted, but... Looks cool. <clears throat> Are you okay? No. No. It's not fun. No, it ain't. But, um, selfishly, it's nice to know that someone else has felt what it feels like. Yeah. If it means any, if it's if it helps with any, if, if, I, I did forget one thing. What actually brought me back was something that was wearing my sister's face. Don't know if it was really her, but you haven't you haven't really told me about your sister. Yeah, I told this to uh, told this to Clovis and Queen, but. Yeah, she um she died in the uh much the same way your uh your sibling did, but a lot slower. Oh. I'm sorry. Couldn't I couldn't do anything. Just
Yeah. Me neither. Yeah, it's weird. We're the, we're both the oldest of four siblings, aren't we? Yeah. Well, they're not really my siblings. Close so. enough. I I don't think any of us know our exact ages, but I always acted the oldest, so they're they're real siblings to me, but not in the same way that. I had you and mine were actually much younger. I have uh, I also have a, a sister named uh, Valerie, and a brother oh. named Carias. And they're still okay. I'm. I hope so. I don't know. Oh. Um. They were. Uh, they were in the city when we left. Um, with my mom and dad. Um, thank you for being strong. Wish it could be more. I'm, I, I totally failed with... No, I don't... I couldn't I get... I mean, we're, we're dealing with impossible odds. I just... I don't know. I I feel like I really blew it too. You did you did wander off. I'll say this. That's that's one thing we're gonna have to work on is moving in concert, not one person going on for that support. But you did manage to finally land that hit on self and you know I I Something I, I didn't want to, I don't know how, I didn't know how to bring this up, but I've been thinking. That time when we were fighting out when you were attacking the caravan. Yeah. You, you shot at me and I've been, I, at the time I thought you were just shooting at me. But you waited, you waited until I was looking. Do you, do you not, do you not like killing? Because if you, if I hadn't have been paying attention, you could have had me right through the eye. You waited till I had to bring up my shield. Um. No, I've never. I've never killed anyone, and I don't want to. In any but other I, place, I've I'd... never said that because. I know that we're kind of in a life or death situation and I thought that if people knew that about me um, I would oh. I don't know I, I feel like I'm already kind of looked down on well now that I know I, that about you it puts a lot in perspective and I, it, it helps me to understand where you're coming from the problem is like you said we're in a life or death situation and the it might, if, if your problem is killing people, if it helps, I don't think Madame Seljadot, it could really be considered a person anymore. She's a monster. Mm. She's a fiend. I mean, probably not a literal fiend, but, or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll ask Clovis about that. But if that helps, if it, if it, if it helps, there are things that are not people anymore. And that they will stop at nothing to end you. Yeah. And if it becomes you, or one of us, or pulling a punch, sometimes you'll have to. I'll work on it. Um... You came through. You you were you were able to to punch well Seltrudot's ticket when it mattered. So that's Her not nothing. Haragoki came through. He's like my friend now. That's I think. That's cool. I I should probably talk to the god guys about that because I don't really know I would, what's going you've on. You've also but... apparently got access to the Mother Hearth, who is Haragoki's mum. So I yeah. wouldn't, I wouldn't, that's not a resource to, to take lightly. That might be a good place to start. 
And you trust this gal, this guy? He's not given me a reason not to. Um... Trust is a, is an interesting thing. Like I, I don't know if there's a way to be perfectly sure about anybody here or any or anywhere, but especially here. I agree. But at the same time, eventually you do have to kind of, I suppose, take the leap of faith for people if they prove themselves, and just have to. It's weird talking of faith. Uh, not really a, <laughs> I'm the least god person here. I mean, you saw how uncomfortable I was in there. Yeah. It's, well, it's they're, they're gods, but my people aren't from here, so it's always awkward. Um yeah, I get that. This is new to me too. Um but yeah, I, I seem to have gone in good with one, so that's that's a good sign. Yeah, I've never, I've never done that before. I've never really seen the need for it. I was always busy, and yeah, you had a career. I had my siblings, and yeah, um, Mez, um, Mez was really important to me, and he's gone, and, um. Well, he had a lot of faith in in what I'm capable of. And I don't have that anymore. You but have you're done, also a, a leader. You have done amazing things. That you, you are capable of things that literally none of us are. Thanks. You are, you are faster than us. You are the... You are... A door will not will not stop you. You can unlock it. Only thing I'd say to work on is, and this is something we all need to work on. This is something we need to sit down and talk about at some point. Is functioning as a unit. Yeah. The problem is that all these monsters keep lashing out, abducting children, and attacking us, which keeps us from getting anything done before we have to go charging into the fire again. I think that's intentional. More than likely. Um, well, thanks, boss. I, um, if you could keep telling me, like, how to be better as a group. I mean, I know you're kind of in the same situation. Um, I, I'm used to a pretty... I mean, I've been training with my group since you have, diapers. You have, a, so. you have a similar problem to me. You were yeah. used to your to your outfit, which was you were you were. Uh, there's no other way to say it. You were thieves. I was used to patrolling a stretch of road and ensuring that cargo wasn't taken. We're both out of our depth. Yeah. Okay. Well. I want to say that um, when you when you burned that clothing thing, I didn't really have a good reaction. Um, but now that I have another chance, um, thank you for that. Whatever we were out there here, we're a team. Because we're all we've got. Okay. Sierra, so as this conversation ends, um, you hear uh, the kind of snide voice of Gwynthalia, but it sounds sincere, which is honestly very unsettling, I'm sure. Yeah. Say, <laughs> wow. You know, it's nice to see you look at someone the way we all look at you. And then the presence fades. Hmm. I kind of chuckle quietly to myself. Um, All right. I'm going to go make sure the god guys are good. 
if you want to come with me. I'm going to get the rest of my armor off, and then, honestly, I'm starving. I haven't eaten yet, so I'm Ooh. definitely going to avail myself to some food. I can make food. Oh, yes. If you see what you can do with what he's got down there. Yeah. Get on this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming back over. I need food. <laughs> So while this conversation was happening, I'm going to cut to the three god guys, or I guess the two and a half god guys, because Galnus is half a god guy. The two and a half men. Wait, I thought they went. Be called. Didn't they go to the uh, the pop up tent of glory? Um, I know. Well, this is what I want to know if there was anything happening while um, the corruption twins had their conversation. <laughs> the broken two and a half and men the two and a half men. twins. Yeah. <laughs> Corruption kids. Um, well, um, Queen has sort of just been like aimlessly laughing along to um, Galnus' shenanigans. Um, he He's in another one of his, hmm, I probably fucked up that social interaction, so I'm just going <laughs> to stay silent in the corner and observe uh, moods. So... <laughs> Uh, unless otherwise pressed for a conversation by any member of the group, Clovis is alternating bandaging himself and reading excerpts of his books to uh, the Hearth Mother. <laughs> okay. Uh, so if he's doing that, I'm going to, um, with Queden just standing in the corner, he's going to be like, so what's wrong with you? He's reading books to my, uh, my forge. And you're standing in the corner like you're hiding from a... a, a uh, a cat or something that's gonna piss on your leg or nip you. You're very quick witted with the words, aren't you? I paint very pretty pictures that somebody that's probably not correct in the mind would laugh at. I've been laughing. What does that say about me? I said it. What does it say about me? <laughs> Don't take yourself quite so seriously. Your hair will fall out. I don't know what is serious anymore. Nothing. If you can't laugh at it, doesn't matter. Well, we just had a, a giant bat with tits attack us. I mean, that's yeah, pretty was, funny. That was, well, <laughs> I suppose it, I, I suppose now that it's over, I can find the fun. Sure. Yeah. 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 Um, I I know it doesn't look like it. I am doing I am doing well. I, I I I'm not very good at like expressing the like the stuff that's in here through the words. Um uh, basically the guy who serves the god of death does not have the best of reputations. So I was never really raised in environments in which I could do things like have friends or just talk to people in general. So uh, this whole like adventuring thing and like traveling with a group and even being around a person for more than like a, like a week is is like that's pretty new to me. Um, so 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 yeah, uh, I'm you know the circumstances I'm actually doing better than I have, um, it, you know, significantly um, for the, you know, other times in my life. But I'm also, you know, my life is being threatened every day. So, you know, who knows? Who knows? Well, the benefit of your life constantly being threatened is at least you know where you stand. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and you can't be doing too bad because for your people to pick you all of pretty much anybody else... <clears throat> they probably had to have known you would have worked well together. Yes, yes, our people picked us. Um, not exactly. Uh, um, uh, How did you get here? I was told... Well, the, the, the story is different for everybody. I was told that a group would be arriving that would need my help and I was in a space where I very much needed people so I, I just smiled and nodded and now I'm an adventurer I, I was not chosen 
I mean, I, I've, you know, I have done great things, I think. Um, but it was, it was seemingly random. I think you're doing fine. Uh, I was picked to come here by, uh, Corey. She thought I could fix some armor and some weapons while they ran around doing whatever the hell needed to be done here. I probably yeah. shouldn't be here. I'm here. And and look at and look at all this. Those people don't seem to mind. They're your yeah. friends, right? Like they, they haven't stabbed you or slapped you or Okay. So you're halfway there. <laughs> you know, the best way to say something, just spit it the fuck out. Clean it up once it hits the air. If they're friends, you'll have that opportunity. If they're not, well, fuck them. I've been, I've been improving and 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 stuff. You know, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll um, I'll, uh, you know. No, I don't know. Madam, do do tell, what I just told Madam, you. Call Madam Seltzer dot the giant bat that tits every now and again. Um, well, I'll probably don't lead with that. Mm. So how about this? As I say, not as I do. Yeah. I find a happy middle ground. And if for some reason you're like, Oh no, I think I might be saying something wrong. Give me a wink, a poke. Give me, well, no, you don't give me a wink, <laughs> uh, but give me a poke, something. I'll say something innocuous and inappropriate. And we'll just take that attention right away. Everybody will forget about me. That, that, no, that they won't forget ideal. about you. Just what you said. Hmm. Oh, well, I do like these people a great deal, and I, I I think you will grow to like them as well, if you don't already. Uh, I like just putting everything out there. I don't know any of you well enough to like you or dislike you. Well, this place has a tendency to... Um, well, at least for us, speed run the liking each other process or tolerating each other process. Well, <laughs> this is new for me. We all, when we came here, we all knew each other. Yeah. And for the most part, some of us liked each other and the rest fell. But we weren't around long enough to really form a bond um, of like unit. Look, we weren't all given high fives, chest bumps and ass grabs. Okay, so... You keep saying we. You you came here with a party. Yeah, the uh, the people. There was an issue, at least the way Corey told it. There was an issue. Um, her and her brother were going to be doing a thing, and they thought I could be of help. And so they opened the portal, and in we came. And then um, slowly we all suffered. Uh probably picked fights well above our uh our pay grade definitely uh we should have been using uh we shouldn't have been using stainless steel when we should have been using uh you know 1080 or something else um 5160 would have been smarter but we didn't have that um and uh we didn't quite make it we died i came back and i was ferried here you came back and they didn't they did not the sword and I point to the uh, a monstrous great sword in the scabbard which you would have saw on his back when he arrived you know that 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 was Borkun's the, the two lions on my pauldrons well that was from him and his sister's uh, chest plates you know, uh, Goldie, I didn't have anything left of Goldie. And Gerfried, I turned some of his contraptions into little knickknacks. The, and I point over towards the door, the, uh, the, literally the, the knob, the hinges, things of that nature. Um, I used what I found left of them, and I, uh, I made some of the things you see here. I'm going to... Um, Are you familiar with... Oh. No, it's okay. Uh, 
as you're looking and as he says that clovis you would kind of even key into this as he draws attention to the lions um you see that they are modeled in the style of and queen and you would recognize this as well being a god guy even sort of a fringe god guy they're modeled <laughs> in the style that the paladins and clerics of etrigar the sun god wear hmm. yeah but they, they were they were like they were that was a long time ago it's a long time ago long enough time for the grief to pass or are you even a grieving guy i'm sorry if that's a personal question uh everyone grieves everyone grieves in their own way but it was about 200 years ago yes. um i i had time for the longest time their things sat around and finally i found my fire and the forge lit again and I turned it all into something useful so that one day, hopefully we'd be a lot stronger. I was nowhere near this powerful when we fell to Seltradot. And I just made things out of our all of our individual things, hoping to drive them through her chest and then pull them up through her skull. That is a beautiful metaphor. I, I know that we are, we are not them. But we share a goal. Perhaps, well, not perhaps. It, it would be my honor to lead you to that opportunity. I appreciate it. Doing it by myself seems like it might be a problem. And seeing her again just made me want to beat the shit out of her more. Well, I am very quick to make friends. Um... And you've given me no reason not to trust you so far. Thank you for the meeting. Um, Look, if you want to know if I like you, ask me. If I don't like you, I'm going to tell you I don't like you. Yes, yeah, fine. You don't have to like me. I, I'm i just saying that, you know, in a combat situation, I've, I've got your back and stuff. In a combat situation, I'll put my shield between any one of you and whatever the hell's in front. Yeah. That's what I do. That's what they taught it's... me to do, and I'm not half bad. That's all it takes. Just let me know if there's arrows. I don't do quite so good against arrows. Hmm. I can only... I'm only aware of so much around me. Right, because, right, because of the whole, you can't see. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll catch the arrows, Galbus. Oh, I'm a bit of a, okay. I'm a bit of a shield guy too. Oh, that's sort of good. a god guy and a shield guy. So my two and things. I'll 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 get the arrows. You can get all the all the actual the big scary stuff. I'm okay with big scary stuff, and I'll pay, I think I'll pick up on the. Uh... Queen and being like, uh, oh shit, when he's like, yeah, the uh, yeah, and I'll was, be like, that was the intention, yeah, yeah, and he's like, gonna oh, be like, I can't see, he's gonna, he'll be like, Queen, you'll very much read from Clovis that his intention was like, oh shit, let me and, let yeah, me get in yeah. there, <laughs> and and he will say, um, as far as blind jokes go, I mean, probably four out of ten, you're gonna have to step up your game. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, that too was a joke. It's meant to alleviate your anxiety yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. at yeah. saying alleviated. something. Alleviated. That, alleviated. Never that, happened. It... Let me let me let me let me tell you something. Allow me to be offended for me. If you didn't offend me, make two more jokes. Because oh, I've you. turns out I've been like this for a while. And I've tried to make every joke about it imaginable up to this point. So if you got a good one, share it. I'd like a laugh. If you got one that sounds like it's corny and old, probably leave it on the floor. I made it myself. I'll give it a thing. Yeah. Hey, if you can't laugh at the things you have to deal with in your life, then why are you giving everybody else the good material? Yeah. I... Life hasn't provided me with much of the luxury to laugh before. But it, I, it's all of, I, yeah, yeah, I will, I, I will. 
We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna turn you into a fun guy. I'm I uh, okay. I'll <laughs> look into it. That he could have said that one there. That would have been funny. Oh, uh, oh. I've heard that one. I'm, I'll I'm, keep trying. You know, mm. I'll give extra points if you can offend one of the other two with something you say. Me? Uh, no, no, no. If you say something about me that makes them go, ah! Oh! Yeah, no, that'll be good. That'll be good. I do like games. Yep. Well, you guys should probably uh, get a little rest or deal with that. I'm going to be done with this in a, probably another couple minutes, and then I'm going to reattach it, and then I'll start preparing some kind of dinner. You guys eat dinner, right? Food? Last time I checked. Yeah. At food. about this yes. point, you hear, Galvis, we're coming back. What, food what? for kitchen. Food, please. <laughs> they eat dinner, too. All right. And then he'll just go and he'll bellow out and be like, give me five minutes. Oh, okay. Huh. Zero will walk in. And while he's just working on it, you notice he's just smoking and blowing out the smoke in fun patterns and stuff. Just like he's just there like and blowing out like, you know, circles and doing different things. And I love Gandalf. <laughs> Who's Gandalf? <laughs> I don't know. Who is Gandalf? Who's he's like? I love it. I don't know. <laughs> I love him though. So um. So I'll. I assume at this point I've I've finished, or at least I'm finishing the uh, the spearhead. And for and if you're thinking about what it probably looks like, it instead of it being like a um, kind of spearing out, it's kind of almost like it comes from like my maybe a spade, but it comes to that point at the top but comes down and rounds out. And then uh, so it would be solid steel. And it's down, it is etched, kind of. You see them moving and just making small impressions where it looks like, on both sides, a turtle shell. Sick. And I have to let uh, wait for the DM to tell me whether that happens or if I have to roll. Um, I'll say that you're taking your time here, so uh, you can roll a Smith's Tools check with advantage. Okay. Um, what did we say the uh, the check on it was? Strength. Strength. Uh, okay. As I was sitting by the forge this whole time, can I give him guidance? Yeah, I'll allow it. Um, okay. So uh, that gives me what a plus uh, uh, D four. Oh, the plus you get to roll as well. Okay, it's going to be a 23. Uh, it is successful, and it is gorgeous. I mean, it's not, like, it's not going to have any, um... No. Like, game advantage, but it is <clears throat> beautiful. And I'll just yeah. tap in the pin, so that, that way it's securely attached to the, uh, the shaft. And, and I'll just spin it in my hands like it's, uh, just as it's... Kind of like it's a staff, and just... Here. On this, it's marvelous. Well, you said you like turtles. I do, very much. And the nice thing is, it, it since it bellows out really deep, uh, really wide towards the bottom, you're going to get really good purchase, and the wound won't close quite so easy. See, mm -hmm. everybody always wants a real thin blade. Now you want to do damage. Hmm. Boss walking in here is it like? Yeah. Oh, I should uh probably should probably go start cooking. <laughs> and I'll I'll walk inside. Um and then as I get to the stove I'll just produce flame and then just <sighs> and set off the uh put on the burners and What what do you want to eat? I have then I'll go through different meats. Uh, I have salted pork. So I have pork. I have venison. I have stuff I could make. So what? What do you want to eat? What do you like? Do, do, do you eat food, guys? Venison's hello. Uh, we did. We did. We did just get help from Haragoki, so venison might be a little. Ooh, good point. Might nice be a little. Catch, so let's go with the pork. Let's go with the pork. 
you're muted. Well, it was funny because I was unmuted and I went to unmute myself and muted <laughs> myself. Uh, what you guys see is that Galnus fully believes that he has salted porks and venison and all this other stuff. What he actually has is various kinds of mushroom. Because I assume, how am I getting this food? Because he believes that he's stepping outside of the, uh, well, from what we talked about, he steps outside the flowers to get and hunt and get the things he needs. Mm -hmm. So well, there's no, there's no meat you can hunt here. Um, it would probably just be like things you can gather. Um, and that's why and I such. said the meats was based on what we originally said. And so I would be like, is where is he getting these mushrooms that he thinks they're meat? Um, uh, yeah, he, he doesn't. Yeah, no, it's. There, there's no meat that he could have here. Like the deer here, that you wouldn't want to eat them. They're corrupted and they're sick. Oh, okay. Uh, so he'll check it. Well, now knowing that, I'll say he's like, uh, yeah, we should probably just eat the mushrooms. Um, <laughs> yeah, this, this does good. not look like it's going to be good. Um, but chances are we'll be yeah, back. Yeah, because now. that's the thing is Galnus would probably like, you know, hunt these animals and be like, oh, all right, meat. Yeah. But, yeah. No, and. Any like any bad stuff was probably burnt off by the mother hearth, yeah, or purified by the matron. But yeah, no, it's you don't want to eat that. Okay, and I'll uh, this this is what I have left is not going to be good enough to eat. So I'll guess uh, we shouldn't eat this, and I'll throw it um, like outside the um, the flowers. Just and all right, you guys notice that as soon as meat is thrown outside the flowers, hordes of lichens descend on it. But then, like, as they get close to the flowers, you see they cover their face and run away. Um, so I, if you guys do see that, I will turn to you guys and be like, that is always hilarious listening to the, uh, listening to them get close to the flowers. Mm. And, and I've been doing it a while, so it still hasn't lost its, uh, its, its, its humor to me. Nice to know that these flowers work so well. For now, all things here eventually lose their power. Yes. Well, the good thing about a plant is uh, it can regrow. Assuming it's not destroyed by something, and I never mm. trust things not to be destroyed here. All right. Um, well, so I guess we'll make some flowers uh, or some uh, mushrooms since the, the meat's gone bad. Uh, so I'll just start cooking up, you know, different um, the, uh, the mushrooms in different ways and I'll salt them and I'll just I'll I'll season them. If anybody wants to help, they can. He won't turn away help. Well, they're I think doing. Seer had mentioned she wanted to cook. Oh well, is she is she. Well, the question is, is she? I would. Is, is she, I will help. If you take it's your home, so if you take charge on it. Uh yeah. Well, I mean, I'll also say that he's probably not used to cooking with someone. So even with his uh, blind fighting and uh, blind sense, he's probably bumping into you a little bit because he's not used to having somebody like he's an autopilot. And he's like, oh, there's a and hold he'll, I would turn to you and just say, uh, did, did you just want to you can cook if you'd like. Um, no, I just want to help. Oh, OK. Just didn't think unless, you wanted. Uh, unless you know. I'm a hindrance. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I, I didn't want to bump into you and hurt you. Um, oh, you won't. I'm not exactly a skinny guy. Um, my brother's a centaur. You know, they're, they're fun to fight. Oh, well, yeah, my... I guess so. I've never really thought about it like that. <sighs> it's always fun sometimes to just get into a little brawl. Unfortunately, the taverns around here aren't full of people who want to get into a bar fight. And I'll make the food. Um, I'll set it out. Start setting it on the table. I know Boss is known to appreciate a good spar. We might be able to convince him. Huh. Well, probably not while we're eating. Yeah. After them. Hmm. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have everyone roll a perception check, please. Okay. I'll do my best. Um... Do you want to roll my perception? Dirty 20. 16. 7. Plus perception. Oh. Pippin, you did such a good job. You guys went for it. 
his like funeral my perception check and I put his paw in the mouse and he nailed it. Send the <laughs> kids, bud. Uh, so any anybody that rolled a ten or higher, um, will hear a screech. Hmm. Does it sound like any screech we've heard before, or is it I'm, new? Uh, uh, it sounds like the screech you've heard before. Um, at yeah. hearing the screech, I will grab my armor, and you just see me quickly just put it on. And again, it's, it takes a little longer than an action, but he just goes, and his armor is back on. Uh, and Boz will then immediately go and put his back on. Well, he didn't hear it, so. Yeah. But he'll see. Did you? What, what was that? And I'll it's grab great. my hammer and just... Oh, then then now now having that cue, he'll go and put his armor on. So I'll step out the front door. Um, um it, it, There's nothing out there. You just heard it. Like, whatever it is, it's just loud. Hmm. I will still stroll out and start to kind of move around the perimeter. Okay. I think Zir winces, but she'll... Seeing that Galnus like has it, she'll continue tending to the food so it doesn't burn or anything while he's investigating. Okay. I think kind of the opposite reaction. Clovis winces in fear, but then seeing Galnus go out to face the thing will go out and um, he's going to go into the instant fortress and climb to the top of the tower uh, and see if he can get a get a viewpoint on anything. Um, the creature that you were fighting, uh, L Lady Seltradot in her sort of bestial form, is flying over the treetops, searching. And, uh, she turns and she sort of makes like a s more staccato screech that I'm going to try and make the sound I hear in my head. And I apologize for how it's going to sound, but it's basically. <laughs> sort of a bark, and as she does, you hear a little further away. And you see another winged figure take off from where you imagine her citadel is. It is much smaller. I don't like that at all. Um, so we're safe here? That's one way to phrase it. Uh, and Clovis is going to Book it um, back into you hear room. another voice you recognize that is not the voice you heard before. You're safe for now, but what I was protecting you from was the lichens. Seltradot never went out this far. You should rest quickly. My magic can't protect you forever. Understood. Thank you. As uh, you see a hooded and eye-covered figure sort of standing on the, the battlement next to you. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll kneel and... Uh reverence come now sentinel and she like puts her hand under your shoulder and stand under your like armpit and stands you up now isn't the time for that it was partially reverence and partially because i am very tired but i will get your rest i'll alert my comrades um as she says get your rest she reaches up uh and pulls down um the eye cover and you can just see these brilliant points of light where our eyes should be uh, and then in four voices she says to you I have the watch. Uh, I'm coming back. I'll I'll say to uh, the matron, "What about the fire and forge? Are are they going to be okay?" I will protect them for as long as I can. Take an ember from your co from your forge and put it into a lantern. Carry it at your side, and they will be safe with you. I cannot keep this place safe any longer. I'll take it and I'll just uh, put. He's like, I, I don't know how you guys work, but I'm gonna put this right here, and if you want to jump in it, I can bring you with me. Uh, but if you don't, that's okay too. Buzz, um, uh, the now fire, real quick, Buzz. The fire click like pops in that way that fire does, and a a smoldering ember flies out into the lantern. Uh, All right, Bosric. Boz now fully armored and uh, pulls out his sword and he goes, We eat 
we rest. And once that's through, Seltradot meets her end on the edge, and he holds out a sword of Fangbreaker. Inspiration point for you, Bosric. Uh, are we gonna drink too? Because I don't. I think we should drink. Yes, we will. After what I just saw, I could use one. Yeah, <laughs> cigars are in the high cabinet. Uh, well, I guess for you guys, it's probably just the normal height cabinet. Um, and uh, there's about six casks uh, along the wall. They're uh, the last one at your own peril. I tried to make him wine. But the others are beer and mead. Those are good. But the last one, I'm not. I'm, I haven't tried it yet. Good luck. So, um, as you guys head down, uh, the last thing you see, Clovis, because you'll be the last one who leaves, is you see the matron sort of go, and then she crosses her arms in front of her, and she spreads her arms out really fast, and you see all six of those wings—the angelic wings, the skeletal wings, and the sort of draconic wings—appear out of her back. And just this little pulse of light goes out from her body, and you can see a very thin sheen of a bubble around you. And you get the idea that she can't hold this forever, but it's going to give you time to rest. Okay. Um, and you actually will see her waver just a little bit as mm. she does it. Um, as he goes down, uh, Clovis will begin uh, uttering a sort of just like long, like repetitive uh, incantation to her, almost like almost like the the rosary bead chants that can just be repeated ad nauseum. Um, and he's okay. just going to kind of passively keep that going. Um, and Galnus, um, as you are sort of like you see the inner fire for the first time in probably two hundred years, for a brief minute, your sight returns as you see that pulse of light and it sort of shakes away the blindness for a split second. Did ask for a second. And I'll go over to the uh, the forge and I'll take off my armor again very quickly and uh, just lean against it after drinking and smoking and, and eating, I'm just going to uh, settle against and just... Uh, good night for the last time, my friends. As I just kind of nod off next to the flame and forge. Um, okay. Uh, does anyone else want to do anything before sleep? Uh, no, but I do have a question for you because this is not something uh, that, that has been brought up before. Can I maintain a prayer through my elven meditation? I don't know yes, in your you world how, how sleep it, it is. Well, because uh, you're uh, because you're trancing, uh, I would count that as like light activity. Mm -hmm. And if you sort of... I imagine that a chant, especially like this, is you just kind of shut your brain off and just go yeah, into your yeah. like mind palace and I, i'd allow that through okay through sleep yeah yeah clovis is going to find a, a secluded spot of the uh of the fortress and sort of shut himself in in darkness light a a candle and uh continue his his chant for the matron uh just try and give her a little piece of himself okay um Boz is going to uh, he eats, but then he also when he gets a drink, he goes, he takes it goes, goes in memory of Missouri, an unappreciated son of an undeserving father. And he's going to take his sword, and in view of the of the edges where he knows lichens are are. Uh, Watching, he's going to do his his sword kata with Fangbreaker, his new sword, his newly named sword, that is. And he's going to enjoy your last hours tomorrow. The house of Seltranon burns. 
And he's not going to actually go to bed in the, um, he's actually going to, in the way he used to when he was in the vigil, sleep out next to the, the castle under the stars. All right. Unless that's a terrible idea and would lead to terrible things, but. Not that Boz would know of. All right. Anybody else doing anything? Sleeping. Okay. <laughs> um, because you are under the effects of uh, Matron's Haven, you do not have nightmares tonight, and you do not have to check. Nice. Thanks, Matron. What a homie. <laughs> I mean, Queden wouldn't have to check anyway because he think he still has the. Uh, Mm -hmm. The moth, the moth dust, but indeed. <clears throat> All right, um, there are some things that happen just as the night goes. Um, Clovis, as you're doing this prayer and sort of like shutting your mind off, you can see um, that occasionally the the barrier will start to waver, and then it will just kind of come back with a little bit more strength of that pulse. Um, Zier Queden, you sleep fine. Galnus, you uh, wake up at some time in the night and you see that a cloth has been laid over you. Um, you're not sure who did it, but you can kind of feel it. And Bosric, as you were doing your kata, um, towards the end of it, the larger lichen with the hammer walks by and he sees you doing it and he kind of stops and he takes his hammer off and just <laughs> puts the uh, head of it onto the ground and sort of leans on the pommel and then uh, as you finish the kata he just makes eye contact with you and smiles uh, not in a threatening way in sort of an intrigued way and you can see he's drumming his fingers on the top of his fist Having seen what he can do, I will actually give him a maintaining eye contact bow of respect. <laughs> um, there's a moment where that he kind of cocks his head and that smile continues, and then he shifts his hammer up onto his shoulders, and he inclines his head to you, and he walks back into the woods. Doesn't quite bow all the way, but he does give you an inclination. <clears throat> all right. Um, so everyone sleeps soundly until after enough time that you have had your long rest, you are all awoken by the sound of glass shattering. And... Um, yeah, you're awoken by the sound of glass shattering. Uh, those of you who are in the tower, you hear it from above you. Those of you who are outside, you hear it from the press from the precipice. I'll immediately start us. donning my uh, my armor. Okay. Um, uh, I get up, is? snuff the candle, pick up my things, and walk for the door. Okay. Uh, those of you who are outside will see this first, so that would be Galnus and Bosric. Um, you see again that uh creature and then a smaller creature shattering the um the aura that is sort of over you and um the matron you hear her voice say i'm sorry i held it as long as i could and then you feel her her essence sort of diminish and disappear um quite all right she saved us the trouble and uh landing in front of you you see the madame seltradot and a smaller, also feminine bat creature with long black hair that looks suspiciously like Dimitri's sister. Yes, max HP does reset on a long rest. But that is where we are going to stop for this week.